Hello, Stampers, and happy Super Bowl Sunday. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're watching me, not the game, or you're taping the game watching me, or vice versa. But uh, if you are watching the game, you can always watch me again when it's over, or by tomorrow it'll be on YouTube. So just pop in, say hi, and let's get started. Roseward, Stampers Delight com so today what I decided to showcase hi Win Ann was the and I know it's kind of bright I think my husband's playing around with these lights again yeah I think this is way too bright but we'll figure it out sometimes it's too dark sometimes it's too light uh, this is tea together okay so it's the tea together bundle that I'm going to be showcasing and also I'm going to bring in the bundle from the annual catalog, Time for Tea. They just go so well together. So let me flip the camera. Um, oh, wait a minute. Before I do, I want to tell you that there are some things coming up. Um, there's going to be the second round of celebration. Um, February 15th, that starts. <laughs> I had to think there. February 15th, that starts. However, um, I will be hopping on or popping on. Tuesday because I get my pre-order so I can show you what they are in the pre-order also in March there will be a, a special it's called celebration coordination and you'll see more of that also maybe Tuesday so stay tuned and the time is to be determined okay so and also don't forget that right now during celebration you can get free um, product by ordering and also you can get this lovely bag back there see I did it the right side uh, by joining my team if you'd like to join my team just go to stampersdelight.com or contact me for more information okay so let's see who we have hi Vicki hi Megan uh, Chrissy's doing okay thank you for asking I had sent a uh, message out last week um, she finished her round her rounds of chemo she goes in for her second surgery on the 20th so Thank you for asking, and we're still praying and keeping our fingers crossed everything goes well. Thank you, Vicki. Yes, she, Vicki said happy birthday, my birthday tomorrow. We went out to dinner tonight. And, uh, however, over across the pond in Australia, right, it's already my birthday. I'm older over there, but I'm younger here, so I kind of want to stay here for another day. Okay, so let's get started, okay? I'm just going to flick the camera. Okay, so don't forget stampersdelight.com or just remember Stampers Delight. That's me. And forget about my January host code. I haven't changed that yet. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm going to bring this in. This is the Tea Together bundle. Yeah, that light is... I don't think I like that light above me that he put there. Maybe if I move this back a little bit. It's a little too glaring. Yeah, the weather is a little bit warmer. So this is the stamp set. And here are the dies. Okay. And you'll see now the stamp set you can buy. This is on page 49 of the Occasions catalog. The framelits are free with a $100 order. They're on page 17 of the uh, Celebration catalog. Okay. And you see they line up very nicely with everything. And, of course, this is the rose. And we got the little flower here and the other little flowers okay so obviously you know i mean if you want to order this stamp set you can get the um framelits for free with a hundred dollar order now i'm going to just put this aside a second because i want to show you people forget about the annual catalog oh megan it's raining there you'll have to get headphones to hear me oh my gosh it, it must be really raining this is the time for tea set which the teacup's a little bit different than this one, but they they really go together well. So let's see what this one is. And I'll tell you, I used this these framelits a lot because I like this for the sayings right here. These little round, oh, well, they're not really round. They're kind of scallopy. But anyway, you'll see that I use those a lot with my cards. So you can buy this bundle, get this stamp set, and let's see, this is $38.50 for this bundle. This is $22. So you're more than halfway there to getting the other, the other bundle free. And all you have to do is add some paper and some ink. Okay, so let's show you what I did. 
I actually woke up early this morning with an idea in my head, believe it or not, and I came downstairs. It was the first thing I did, so let me show you the card that I was dreaming about. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is this one. And I just had this idea in my head of making it look like a picture to hang on your wall. So I used our uh, new embossing folder. And now this is the stamp, the two stamps from the new set. Right here. And then this is the framelit from the um, Time for Tea on vellum. And what I did was I took the, let me just grab it here so I can show you. To make it look like a picture frame, I took our rectangle stitched framelits, which those are on one side. I took the largest one, which was this one. Okay. And then not the next, not the next size, but the one after that, which is, let me just grab this magnet that really holds it in. So I lined these up like that, ran it through the big shot, and made this wooden frame. And that's with our designer series paper. So then, let me put this aside. So then what I did was I took a piece of the white, I embossed it, and then I just, cut, I stamped, um, these on the designer series paper that is in our big catalog and let me just see what page that should be on page 49 also I believe so that designer series paper okay uh, let's see 49 nope it's not 49 what page did I have in the big catalog it's got to be in the big catalog so it's page 15 okay let me just grab that for you. So on page 15 of the large catalog, our annual catalog, is the designer series paper I used. And, sorry, I'm just looking for the right page here. I wrote it down, and I can't even read my own writing. Okay, so it is called Tea Room Specialty Designer Series Paper. So I stamped it, right, I stamped those stamps right on the designer series paper. And then I kind of put that in the corner and just cut it cut around it so it looks like I don't know you know if you're hanging it I'll flip the camera the other way and show you later but um, I thought that was kind of a cute idea making it look like a picture and then I made this a happy Mother's Day card my mother and my mother-in-law are gonna get a lot of cards I think so that was my first idea then my second idea that I did was I used the designer series paper um, the butterflies from the celebration and again I use that framelit this framelit has a large one and a smaller one and that's in the um, tea, time for tea and then I used if you could see it our tuft embossing folder and I just made the teapot and the, the um, teacup with butterflies and then this butterfly I cut out with the uh, Punch. Yes, the punch is back ordered, but don't worry. It's going to be in the new catalog. It is supposed to, they're, they're back ordered, uh, I think, until March, but no worries, okay, because they are going to be in the new catalog. That's what they told us, okay? So I have this little butterfly right there. Isn't it cute? And then I cut out some more butterflies for the inside, and this I made into a happy birthday. So that was another card. Now, I just want to show you on the uh, time for tea. I did this when the catalog first came out. And again, this is just to showcase that other set. But they go so well together. I mean, if you love tea, if you're a tea drinker, you know people that are tea drinkers, you just love teapots. I know if you've seen all my still shots, you see that I take them right next to my grandmother's old teapot. So I love the, these sets. And they just go together so nice. So that was a card I did a while ago. Another thing that I did was I took our um, delightfully detailed notes and I did a simple stamping card. And all I did was fold that, stamp from me to you, and then I made a matching envelope. But the reason I made this cute little gift card, as I would call it, is also on page 15 of the large catalog, you can get these copper tea tins. 
and I took both sets, both teacups, and made a little tea tin with the designer series paper. And I'm going to show you that tonight. Isn't that cute? So this is going to be a nice little gift for my sister and my mother, either for Easter or Mother's Day because they both like tea. And I can fill this up with their favorite teas. And then if I don't want to get a fancy, fancy card, I can do a simple stamping card like this and make it just a little gift for them. So I'll be showing you that in a little bit. The other card that we I am going to show you and then I am going to stamp is my rendition of a Z fold meets an easel card. How's that? <laughs> this is what the card looks like when it's closed. Now I used our laser detail paper, designer series paper in the occasions catalog. I used the crackle, large crackle background to make it look more antique. And of course the um, tea together stamp set. But here's how the card works. I'm just going to pull it out. So you see it that way, right? And I'm going to flip the camera in a minute because it stands up this way. So let me flip the camera real quick. Okay, so what you're looking at is this. And then it would stand like that. I know it's kind of hard for me to show you that. Let's flip the camera back this way. So I can show you, I don't know how to, I don't know how to make it stand up. Okay, so it would look like this from the side. And this is the front. I know, I don't know how to, maybe when I flip the camera back, we'll, we'll get a better shot. But the, ca the, the card actually pulls out like this. And I think... I can get a better shot of it later. Okay. Isn't that cute? Oh, thank you. So let me show you how I did this card first. It's not as hard as you think. It's just really two pieces of cardstock. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that you take your cardstock, and I use the uh, petal pink, and here's your two. Here's your sheet of cardstock, right? looks just like that you're cutting it right down the middle that's uh, four and a quarter all right so the first piece you're just gonna fold in half this is so easy you're not gonna believe how easy this is and you can use I don't use my um, scoring blade on my paper cutter while I'm doing it live I should because it make, makes a crisper edge but so this is the first fold now I'm gonna take the other piece Right? And I'm going to fold it the same way. And I always start in the middle and push out. This way it, it actually gives it a, um, makes it the right edge there. But if I was doing this without the camera, I would be using my scoring blade on my paper cutter. So you have two of these now, right? One of them, you're just going to simply fold this piece back just like that so now you have your stand-up piece and this is what we would have called the Z fold right so what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna use my fast fuse for this you can use snail you can use tear tape And then you simply take this piece, like, that's folded this way, okay, and you line that right up here, and there you have it. So the card stands this way. And when I flip the camera, you'll be able to see it better. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my two pieces of white. Okay, so this is two pieces of cardstock cut down the middle. Four and a quarter right down the middle. This piece that goes right in here that I'm going to put in there, 
okay, is four by five and a quarter. Don't worry about the sizes. By tomorrow, I will have it added to this video and on the YouTube channel, okay? Then I took an extra piece of white, and this piece of white is, I believe, two and a half by, I want to say two and a half by three. Where's my little ruler? Lost my little ruler here. Well, let's just measure it. Okay, because I want to give you the right size, so I'll just measure it here. So this is four by two and a half. Okay, so this little piece is, is four by two and a half. Now, if you look at the card here, it's got that detailed laser paper on it. There's a couple different ways you could do that. I'm going to do that first. I'm going to bring that in. This is tricky sometimes to play with because it is kind of flimsy, but oh so beautiful. So let me show you one of the ways that I like to do this. I'm going to flip it around because this is the, car the card, the color I want. And I'm just going to take this piece of white and I'm going to line it up right about here. Okay, so that, that gives me an idea of where I'm going to put it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go with my detailed glue and I'm just dotting. I don't want to put a lot because it'll spit out on the edges. I just want to dot some of this to hold that in place until I can cut it. Okay, that should be enough. Just going to lay that down right about here. And I'm not going to squish it. I'm just going to lay it down. Let it dry. This piece, I have some left over here from before, so why waste it? I'm going to do basically the same thing, except for I'm going to cut this piece off because I, okay. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flip it. And flip this little piece see I want that right about there let's see I don't want to waste anything so I'm using every little piece I have okay so maybe I can get that piece right about let's cut that one off right about there should be good I'm just going to trim this. Okay, that piece is going to come off. So that was one way you could do it. The other way is the way I'm going to show you right now. You can take the glue, same thing, put some glue on it. Just dot it. And then just lay it on here this way. Sometimes I take like my fast fuse or a block. I just let it sit there for a minute. So we'll just put that there for a second. Now this piece is dry enough for me to lift up gently, flip it over, and I'm going to trim off what I don't need. Now some of those pieces are going to come off, okay? That's okay. You don't need all of them. There's actually another way to do this, which I will show in a video later on in the week. I'm just trimming it around that white. And if you really want to see it, you can always turn it over that way too. But I can see it pretty well here because I can see the color. So let me just trim it. Let's move this out of the way. And before, <laughs> it, gets, it gets stuck to everything. But you got to love it. I'm going to bring my glue back in because I want that little piece right there to stay once I cut the other piece off. So let me just put a little glue here. And I'm just going to set that down for a second. Put that on there for a minute. Okay, bring this piece back over. And I think I'm going to put that right there. Yeah, that, that works. 
Remember, this is going to be, some of this is going to be hidden. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're getting to use all those pieces. Okay. I'm just going to put him right there. Okay. Now this piece, I'm just going to trim off a little bit. So I have that. Don't worry about that because I can make that the top piece which you're going to not see. Now I'm going to bring this one back in. That little guy needs a little bit more glue there. Let me just hold that down. There. And now I can trim this piece off because that is glued. Just trim that right there. Okay. So there you have it. The detailed paper. It's not really hard to work with. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this piece in, and you see that has a little white right here, so we'll make that the inside. You're not going to really see that. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and snail that down. Oh yeah, Diana, that this the detailed glue works great for for detailed um, the detailed paper. Make sure I'm putting that on right. We're going to set that right in there. Okay. The one thing I do want to tell you when you're done with this, you definitely want to close it up because it dries very fast. It's already started to dry. And you want it. This is like an eye chart here, trying to get that thing back in there. But you definitely want to get it back in there and close it up because it will dry up. Okay, so this piece, I'm going to go ahead and snail that down. Or in this case, I'm using my fast fuse today. And I think I'll put this right here. Okay, so we're just going to lay that right up there. Okay, so you see it's coming together. Now, I've already cut these out. You don't, I don't think you need to see me do framelits. If you do, I will do a video on that. But I don't like to have the ta table shaking. So here are the two that, that I'm going to use. The teapot and the teacup. And I'm going to bring in my crackle background. Now I can do this both both of these together. I'm going to take my crumb cake and ink this up. Both of them can be right there because it's big enough. I want to actually I want it very light, so I'm going to ink it off one time, and then I'm just going to put this whoop, right here and press it down. There we go. Got a crackled background now. So it almost looks antique -y. Now the next thing I'm going to do, and where's my little flower? I know I have one. I did have one. Oh, where'd my little flower go? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my flower. And for this, I used Petal Pink and Old Olive blends or met mo mm, mossy meadow okay so i'm just going to go in here and flick some dark pink in there more dark than anything i think okay the longest the hardest thing about this card and it's not even hard it just takes the longest is putting the detailed paper on there. A little mossy meadow. This is going to go right here. Okay, so I'm going to, and I'm just going to play around with these first to see where I want them. Because this is going to go right up here. Teacup will go there. This is going to go behind it. You just want to make sure that your 
handle is in far enough so it fits in your envelope. So I think right about there would be good. All right, so let's... You could also do dimensionals and have it pop out a little bit more if you wanted. So we're going to go ahead and snail the bottom half of him down. Don't want to snail too much on the top because he, he has an overhang there. So we're going to put this right about here. And I'm going to go ahead with my teacup. My teacup's just going to go right up here. Isn't that great? Okay. Now I have this. Um, this is from the, uh, the other stamp set, which is the time for tea. That's going to go right there, and I'm going to use this stamp set, um, the saying, Our love is one that covers years through life's joys and sometimes tears, a bond that stands the test of time, mother and daughter's hearts entwined. You don't have to use that, obviously. You can use any stamp you want, anybody that likes tea. I'm going to ink that up. Just going to go ahead and stamp that. And let's see, where is my, I know I had everything ready. I was all ready for everybody today. And if you're leaving me comments, I will. <laughs> Sorry, Maureen. Maureen says another set that she wants now. Sorry. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this one, this one I am going to use dimensionals. And it's funny because I do have everything in front of me and I'm still looking. Where did I leave it when I know it's in front of me? Okay, so for this one, I'm going to grab some dimensionals. And again, remember, I'm going to show you that card when I flip the camera up because it, it doesn't even do it justice. But when you see the still shots tomorrow or later tonight, but I got a feeling it's going to be tomorrow when I get them on, uh, by the time I get them on Facebook. I'm going to put that right about, let's say, I want it right here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, and this has got to be probably my favorite ribbon in the world, is this petal pink. I'm just going to take that inside here. Pull it around. Put a piece off. And I always tie upside down. Anybody that's been watching my videos knows that's the way I do it. Hopefully I cut off enough. Usually I cut too much. This time I might not have, but we'll see. And again, I think one of the reasons I like this ribbon so much is it's just so easy to tie and make a bow. Except for that time. <laughs> All right, let's try it this way. I need a little bit more here. The crackle stamp is it uh, that is in the occasions catalog. I didn't write the page number down, but it is in the occasions catalog, Sheila. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie this. And if my bow doesn't come out too good this time, I'll just play around with it later. Okay. So I'm not gonna fuss too much with the bow right now. I can do that later on. Okay, I lied. Now it's driving me crazy. There we go. Okay. Okay. So there's a little bow. And there you have it. Okay, now again, this is the way it would open, but it stands up. Hopefully you can see part of that, and I'll show it to you again when I flip the camera. You usually want the sets after I show them. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So that's my first one I wanted to show you. And again, I'll bring those in and show them to you when we're done. And then the other one I wanted to do was this cute little can or tea, tea can or uh, tea tin. Okay, so you ready to see how I did the tea, tan? tea tin? <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. All right. This is really easy. 
Okay, so I used that designer series paper, which is on uh, in the large catalog, annual catalog. This is the side I used right here, but this time I'm going to use the other side. This piece is three inches by 12. And I'm just going to wrap that around there. What I use for this, though, is I'm going to use tear tape because I really want it to stick. So on the side that you're not looking at, and remember, I'm doing it on the opposite side. These are going to make great little Easter gifts, Christmas, uh, Mother's Day gifts. Yeah, Christmas. Oh, yeah, you can make them into Christmas ones, too. These tins, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to sell out soon because what great ideas for tea, tea drinkers. And if you come to my classes, I'll give you a little heads up. We're probably going to be doing this in either March or April's class. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is flick this piece off. And then I'm going to start unpeeling these. Now remember I said it's three inches. It's not going to, you're going to have an edge. But I want that edge there because you're going to need an edge at the top too. So as you're opening and closing the tin, it doesn't get ruined. I'm just going to put that right back here and very gently just push it along see what I'm doing I'm just pushing it along the edge and as I get need more I pull a little more out and just keep pushing it along the edge I keep forgetting to look up and make sure that I'm in camera view Okay. Now I'm using Crush Curry on this and Coastal Cabana. These are the colors I'm using for this. And then I'm just going to push that right to the end. Okay. Now, I've already cut these pieces out somewhere. Where are they? Because I wanted to do it different. This is in the Crushed Curry. These are going to be in the Coastal Cabana. And this one says, love is a warm cup of tea. And you can give that to a friend. It doesn't have to be, I mean, you know, I'm not sure who's getting this yet. Probably my sister. And let me just fix this stamp because it was a little crooked. Okay. So I'm going to bring in my Coastal Cabana. I did have a little wine with dinner, Vicki. Thank you. <laughs> It was called Velvet Cupcake Wine. I'm not really a wine drinker, but it was good. I'm going to stamp that. There we go. Just going to close this up. I don't need that. Let me close up this one, too, because I'll stick my hand in it. And then again, I used that framelit for, from the um, Time for Tea. To give it a background it just didn't poke these out yet and then this ribbon I wanted to show you a couple of things this ribbon is in the annual catalog but we have other ones you could use too if you like this one better or I'm thinking I might want to try something even more different this one is in the occasions catalog with the treat set this is Coastal Cabana also, and it's that's that reversible one, but I'm kind of thinking I might want this to try it this way. Yeah, I'm going to use a different ribbon on this, just because I can. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bring that ribbon. What I'm going to do here is just put a little fast fuse there to hold it in place. cut it a little too big. I actually want less than that. So let's move this over. Am I still in camera view? Good. Okay. And then I'm going to do this one. Make it a little bit smaller. I don't need to, it doesn't have to overlap a lot because that die cut's going in front of it. Okay. Just do it right there. 
Then I'm going to take this piece of Coastal Cabana and put that right on the front. Now I can also put dimension, if I wanted to use dimensionals, I could, but because I'm using dimensionals on the teacup, I want this to lay flat. Okay. And where's my other little, see, I already lost my little teacup. Where is he? Oh, here he is. See, I lost my teacup. Yeah, I lost the other teacup. It's all right. He's over here somewhere. Okay. There he is. Okay, so I'm going to put some dimensionals on here. Let me get the dimensionals out. Sorry, this one dimensional doesn't want to come off. Okay. And dimensionals over here. Whoop. I think it was out of camera view again, wasn't I? Okay. Okay. I know. I start out so neat here. <laughs> okay. So this one I'm going to put right here. Just like I did before. And this one's on dimensionals too, and I'm going to put that one right there. So you see, you get the two different colors and the two different ribbons. But then remember, I did the top too. So the top piece is, again, the designer series paper. It's two by three and a half. Okay, so it's two by three and a half. And then what I did is I brought in our detailed trio uh, punch, which everybody forgets, is in the holiday. I mean, the big catalog, and I'm going to round off that edge, the corners. Hopefully, I don't. Oop! Didn't go all the way through. I have to stand up and do this. There we go. And I'm going to do this side, and just do all four sides, and it rounds it off perfect for that top of the tin. See? And it matches. It fits right on there. So again, I'm going to take my tear tape. Tear tape really holds it in place. I'm going to have so much fun filling these tins. that off and set it right on top here and there you go you could also put a little gift card on the top if you wanted to but how cute is that and then again just to show you simple stamping I'll just bring in one of these laser uh, detailed de delightfully detailed notes <laughs> No cards. And I'm going to bring in my Coastal Cabana with my stamp of the teapot. I'm going to stamp that. Now that's, and then the saying from, where are you? You are right here. The saying is from the time for tea. Okay, so you see I'm switching back and forth. I'm using both stamp sets, and they go so nicely together. And then what I'll do is I'll bring in the teacup. And I'm going to stamp half of that in the corner, just like that. And I got a little note card, an envelope. There you go, to go with the little tea tins. How cute is that? So I hope you enjoyed. Okay, thank you, Gail. Gail. Gail says she had to run, but she'll catch me later. So again, these are the little note cards that I did to go with the tea tins. And I'll bring in the other cards, and then I'm going to flip the camera 
So again, this was the one I did with the butterflies. And you see the butterflies on dimensionals here. This one, which I love because it looks like a hanging picture. And I stamped that and cut that out with the framelits with the designer series paper. And then, of course, the Z fold meets the easel card, I guess you would call it, right? <laughs> so I hope you like these cards. And that keeps flipping. Let me just uh, flip the camera and see if I can give you a better shot of that. Hi. Okay, again, so I know that one light is very bright, and if I shut it off, it might be too dark. Let me just see something. Nope, that doesn't really help, does it? Let's see if I can bring it back here. So you see this. Um, yeah, a sticky notes might actually fit in there. So I wanted to show you this. And I'll have still shots of these. Again, I think it might be a little too bright. You can't see it, but I hope you can. And then here's the other one. Of course, they're both the same. And then it pulls out like that. But it sits up like this. Okay. And then, again, I'll bring this one up. And this one. And my cute little tins. And of course, the little note cards. So I hope you liked today's video. I thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great evening and a great week. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. I couldn't think of any better way than to spend it with you. So have a great day, a great evening, and a great week. Happy stamping. Bye.